massachusetts.biz and massdvds.co.uk Foundation Mathematics Lesson 4, Part 3 And this two-dimensional lesson is about constructing triangles. So let's consider how to construct triangles given the three sides. Constructing triangles given the three sides. So we're asked to construct a triangle that has got size 17 centimetres, 12 centimetres and 20 centimetres. It doesn't matter which measurement you take to draw first, but usually one draws the longest. So I'll draw a line 20 centimetres long. So 20 is up to there. And then the rest of it, to be constructed, we must use a pair of compasses. So pick either of those measurements next. It doesn't actually matter which, matter which one. So I'll pick the 17. Put the compass points there and there, 17. Slip the compass point in one end of the line and draw what is called an arc. Now, in fact, if I was doing it properly on a piece of paper for an examiner, I wouldn't bother to make it quite as dark as that. I'm doing that so you can see it. But you should certainly make it dark enough for the examiner to see, because it's called a construction. And you're meant to show your constructions. The other measurement is 12, so let's move the pair of compasses to 12. So there we go, that's about 12 there. Well, it's not really good enough, but you can see what I'm doing. Comes point in the other end, draw another arc again. I wouldn't do it as dark as that in an exam. Just make it so the examiner can see it because being a construction, you're meant to show the examiner how you did it. Because that's what the marks are for. Showing the examiner how you constructed your triangle. So, that's our first construction. And let's move on to our second construction. Right. Here's a sketch of a triangle. So it's 18 by 14 with a 41 degree angle in there. Make an accurate drawing of this triangle. So, we draw a line 18 centimetres first. Then we measure our angle of 41 degrees. So put it in the centre of the protractor on the end of the line and making sure it's naught. And then count 10, 20, 30, 40, 41. Now we don't measure up there 14 centimetres. We actually draw the line up there of any length as long as it's more than 14 centimetres. So let's go mad. Then you're meant to get a pair of compasses to do the 14. So let's make the compasses open to 14. This is much easier on a piece of paper, and this is why I'm struggling here. OK. Again, when you do the arc, put the compass point in the end of the line, when you do the arc, you make sure it is definitely can be seen, but not as dark as that, but dark enough. And that gives you the top point of the triangle to finish it off. Now what I didn't do on the previous triangle, I suppose I should have done, is label it. So I'll mention that now and say, oh dear, I should have mentioned it before. And labelled the other one. But there you go, constructing a triangle given two sides and an included angle. That's called the included angle. And the last one, because that's all we're going to do on this little lesson. Here's a sketch of a triangle. That's 21 centimetres. There's 41 at that end and there's 32 at that. And make an extra drawing. So, let's measure the 21 centimetres, which is there. And the tractor. 41 at that end, which is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 there. Don't know how long it's got to be, so you just do some sort of length. 
and then 32 at the other end and remember how I do it, I actually count it round rather than just go and look in 10, 20, 30, 32 now of course I don't draw this any length because I know it's going to meet that other line so I can just draw it to meet that other line there you go label it like I did not the first one but I should have done and that's all there is to this little topic lesson 4 part 3 finished